Hi, I'm Aaron J. Marks of AaronJMarks.com and CommerceTheory.com. Welcome to my podcast, A Higher Level, where everything we think, see, and do happens on a higher level. For as long as I can remember, I felt like my mind has worked just a little differently than most others. For my entire life, I've been studying, observing, and contemplating this incomparably strange and wonderful phenomenon called human existence and trying to figure out what it's all about. People say the way of thinking and theorizing that comes from this offers an unusually high and rich level of insight, clarity, freedom, inspiration, and effortless creativity. And that's ultimately what a higher level is all about. The insight to understand how life works, the clarity to see where to go next, the freedom to go there, the inspiration to find joy and wonder along the journey, and the creativity to honor your particular brand of human genius. In this podcast, I'm going to break down and describe the concepts that come from my theories so that you can see into the fabric of the life you're living with greater depth and precision and use that understanding to improve your results in every way that's meaningful to you. It's the only life you get and the only chance you have to make a difference here. If there's one thing I know, it's that all lives can improve and that the human race is just one big collective results improving system. Ready to find your place here? Fabulous. Let's get into the topic for this episode of A Higher Level. I'll see you again afterward and talk more about what it looks like to work with me. Until then, let's dive in. Hi, this is Aaron of AaronJMarks.com. I'm a visionary purpose coach, metaphysical leadership mentor, theorist of human commerce and communication. And uh, this is a series about what I call the universal shape of leadership and creation. And it's the eight steps to bridge what I call the realms of purpose and strategy and then strategy and action. I think it always follows these eight steps. And I think all feats of leadership and creation follow the same pattern. And these are the eight steps. And uh, I'm reading from my book, The Complete Science of Human Dynamics. Um, and so uh, let's... Uh, Let's jump back into the series, and uh, you'll hear me read the passage for this episode. Episode 51, Clarity. Quote, leadership is more about clarity than it is control. Mark Goulston. Quote, more important than the quest for certainty is the quest for clarity. Francis Gautier. Now that we've established that we all have visions, we must ask why for most of us at any rate, they stay that way. Our minds clearly have a department devoted to measuring reality against our ideals and suggesting possible ways to align them. Often they stay as daydreams, but not for all of us, and perhaps not for you. What's the next step? Daydreams are like the raw material of possibility. Raw material is not usable, which is why we call it raw. How does a pile of vegetables and meat and spices, each tasty to a degree on their own, but missing a certain coherence and depth, become a gourmet feast in the hands of a brilliant chef? How does unrefined ore become the sturdy, finished metal of technology, construction, and decorative adornment? How do daydreams become reality? The first step is clarity. Can you induce a daydreaming state? Perhaps not. It often happens involuntarily, and when you least expect it. But try to put yourself there. Try to imagine what they are like. Here's an attempt at a description. A swirl of surreal images, realistic yet abstractly composed, at once still and tumultuous, crystal and fog, somehow in your mind's eye overlaid upon the optical input of what is real. A succession of vignettes characterized by bliss and peace, professional, personal, and people-wide. Like so many other mental phenomena, they defy true characterization and articulate description. Fortunately, our shared experience permits a mere suggestion to evoke this state. The frustrations of our reality, that which we have but don't want, drive us into the arms of our daydreams, filled endlessly with our aspirations, that which we want but don't yet have. You need never travel far to find them, but every experience infuses them and shapes them anew. Watch your daydreams for the world you want, and there fix your gaze. That is clarity of vision. Once beheld, look closely. Examine the vision. Note its specific features. Daydreams are extensions of what is real, in that they are shaped by and based upon the workings of the reality we know and experience. 
I don't believe you'll find a daydream that depicts something that cannot be. Parenthetical. Perhaps we dream of flying without a craft, or making contact with alien worlds, or fighting creatures from fantasy. These edge cases do blur the line between conceivable reality and fantasy. Perhaps there are no dragons to be found, aliens within the space flight of our lifetime, or wings for us to sprout. But such visions may become the basis for our most imaginative tales. Further, many of our visions are based on the real workings of the human tribe, and as such present authentic, attainable possibilities. Look closely, for you will see what you want, and you will know what can be actualized in this reality. And then, once you have discerned this, you must study the shape of the vision. You must see where it happens, how the room is decorated, the people who are there. Since we are a social species, your vision will always include other people. Who are they? Why are they there? What attracted them to you? What story did you tell to captivate them? And how are their lives improving? as a result of participating. Your vision will include all of these, and you must discern them. This is clarity. It involves recognizing the reality upon which your vision is based, identifying the specific features of which it is composed, and creating an inventory of all that must be true in order for your vision to manifest in reality. It is simple, but don't underestimate the importance of this step or the care with which you must execute it. In order to guide the process that follows, absolute clarity of outcome is essential, and this is an exacting process upon which the execution of many other steps rest. Can you see it? That of which you dream and wish to make real? Have you searched your daydreams, born of aspiration, in response to frustration in each and every moment of reality, for the vision that you want? Have you fixed your gaze upon this vision, studied it, discerned its features, and inventoried the stories that must be told to create it? And you feel your personal energy flowing in response, strengthening your body, emboldening your resolve, animating your spirit. You know what you are now, don't you? You're a leader. The next step is leadership. Thanks for joining me on a higher level. If I've done my job right, you're seeing, thinking, and acting differently, with more clarity, more decisiveness, more intention, more success. The current state of your life is just a set of results, and they can all be improved. It doesn't matter whether it concerns yourself, your family, your friends, your community, your workplace, your investments, your world. Behave differently, act differently, communicate differently, and your results will change, guaranteed. But how do you change your actions, behaviors, and communications? If you're unsure, give me a shout. I've helped dozens of motivated leaders and organizations like you and yours to improve their results by discerning exactly the right next step. It's something not everyone can do, and it happens to be my specialty. Sound like something you can use? Learn more about me and all my media channels and reach out to start your own conversation and improve your life in every way. There's nothing like it. And you're worth it. Because if you're not, then no one is. Thanks again for joining me at a higher level. I'll talk to you next time and will continue to see, think, and act on a higher level. Until then.